Lencare Museum is a museum that's actually housed in a former home. The story begins with the Raymond and Mildred Pitcairn family. Raymond Pitcairn was the son of John Pitcairn. John Pitcairn was a self-made man. He started in the railroad, the bottom rung, and worked up till he was an investor. He ended up being involved in oil, coal, natural gas, the railroad, and he was a co-founder of the Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company. And Raymond Pitcairn was his eldest son and ended up inheriting most of the fortune. Raymond Pitcairn was trained to be a lawyer. He actually never practiced. He had a really strong personal interest in art and architecture. The Raymond and Mildred Pitcairn family began construction in 1928 and the family moved in in 1939. It's designed to look like a medieval castle so that the objects look like they belong here. It was a home until 1979 when Mildred Pitcairn had passed away. Raymond Pitcairn died in 1966. The family decided to give it to uh, the school that they were affiliated with, the Academy of the New Church. About 1980, they began the transition of turning it from a home to a museum. We have been open as a museum since 1982. We're sitting in the Great Hall of Glencairn, and it's the largest room in the building. The Great Hall has always been intended to be a gathering place, as well as a place to display some beautiful medieval art. They did design it with acoustics in mind, so that this was, would be a good place to listen to music and be a concert hall for live music. Two things that are noticed right away, really, is the mosaic arch and then the stained glass windows. The mosaic, the glass mosaic in the Great Hall, you'll see a lot of gold in it. There is gold leaf made into the glass mosaic. The symbols you see are related to the church and school that the Pitcairn family was affiliated with. So the circular images in the mosaic are referred to as medallions, and right now we're looking at one that is depicting Michael slaying the dragon. It's from a story in the book of Revelation in the New Testament of the Bible. In that story, the dragon actually has seven heads, but due to space here, the artist decided to just give the dragon one head. So this window is a copy from Chartres Cathedral in France, but it was made for this space in Bernathan in the 1930s. It depicts figures from the Old Testament of the Bible. In the bottom, we can see Jeroboam. You can see he's a king because he's wearing a crown, but he actually wasn't a great king because you can see him worshiping golden idols. So he's at the bottom of the window, sort of in a place of, he's not as respected as people higher in the window. The top of this window in the place of honor shows King Solomon. He's a popular king from the Old Testament, known for his wisdom. So now we're in the master bedroom, and as you can see, it's maybe more simple or plain than some of the other spaces in the building. And yet, the detail is still amazing. There's a lot of hand-carved wood in this space, and one of those pieces is the bed. There's actually a lot of symbolism here. One of the things I want to point out, though, is on the bottom, they actually have a quote from their marriage ceremony, and it says, Unite our hearts in love to one another and to thee. Give us one heart, one mind, one way. Grant us knowledge to see thy way and power to do thy will. So we're going to go into the Roman gallery, which originally was the bedroom for two of the sons, and they were the first family members to move in here. looking at two sarcophagi individually, sarcophaguses. So you'll see one sarcophagus here on the bottom. This is Roman. And on the top, we have a portion from a Roman Christian sarcophagus. Down here on this bigger one, we have symbolism that is pagan. On the end, you see a figure that is a shepherd. And this is to show the Roman pagan idea that country life was ideal life. 
Here we have another shepherd, but this time it's Christian. They used the pagan symbol, but gave it new meaning by having it represent Jesus Christ as the shepherd. The building is nine stories, and the top of the building is a glassed-in tower observation deck. Bernathan is one of the highest points in Montgomery County, so we have a great view of the surrounding area from the tower. We want to engage visitors with a higher meaning, purpose of life, uh, but we do that through looking at the beliefs and practices of cultures from around the world and through various times. Mm -hmm.